Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks bi-weekly update video. In this video we're going to be covering updates as of today which is version 1.5.2. Now in this week's update we have got two brand new components. Now only a few weeks ago we got the brand new major update which was the underwater biome. Now with this major update came a bunch of new missions. A few of them were underwater and required you to repair things. And that's where the first component comes in today. And that is going to be the new underwater welder. Now, yes, this is a component that you can add onto your vehicle to go and repair other vehicles. Whether that is a stationary vehicle or a moving vehicle, you can do both. Now, it works exactly the same as a normal welder. So normal welder, you go underwater, you repair things exactly the same. The only difference is this, you add onto your own creation works with simple on off inputs and also uses electricity. Now with the electricity, that means that you can in theory weld as much as you want and it will not empty. Of course, make sure you have your electricity up to a certain level. Now, why would you need this? Well, can you imagine you have an ROV and you need to go down and repair something instead of going inside of a submarine traveling all the way down to the bottom of the ocean floor, you can in theory sit on top of your ship at, on, the, on the sea level and then send your ROV down to go and do repair work, complete the mission and come back up without even, even leaving your ship. So very, very useful little component. Uh, as far as I know, there is no animation on it uh, like the other welders. I could be wrong. I have quickly tested it with nothing in front of it uh, and I didn't see an animation. So that is the first new component that we've got in today's update. The second new component, once again, is somewhat related to the last major update, and this is going to be the new end effector. Now, this is designed for you to interact with buttons and doors using your vehicle. Now, normally that's a manual task where you have to go up to something, press E or Q and interact with it. Now you can interact with it using this component. You can obviously attach it to your vehicle, whether that be a submarine or a ship or a helicopter, a plane, whatever it is, you can now interact with other vehicles or other objects that have got doors and buttons. Once again, the same principle as the welder, on off input, electricity, Bob's your angle, and that's it, and that's done. So let's jump straight into the workbench and let's test this end effector. Obviously we can't test the welder, but we can test the end effector. So we're going to jump into the workbench. So let's take a little walk over here. I've been playing around with it to see what it does. I'm gonna show you guys firsthand. So right here in front of me, you can see we have the new end effector and we also have a button and a battery. Really simple, very straightforward. Now let's see how it can interact with a door. So I'm just gonna get a simple sliding door, no electricity needed. I'm gonna place it down right in front of it, just like that. Let's go now and check. You see I've got an on off input going to my end effector and I've also got some electricity going to my button and also my end effector. Let's go and spawn that in and let's see if it can open the door. So you can see normally we could go up to the door, we could press E, etc. Now, if I use the end effector, press the button. Hey, look at that. It opens the door up. Nice, let's press it again. And there we go. So pretty much anything that we can interact with, you see there we've got the E or Q to open. Uh, the button uh, components can do exactly the same thing. What about a button? So if I was to delete that off, let's just go and make a button right next to it. There we go, maybe put a light next to it and we can tell if it, the button is turning on. There we go. And we're just gonna put that in there. Cool, and let's go and get some electricity to all of that. And we're going to connect the button over to the light. So in theory, now when we go and press our button over here on the right, it should enable the effector, which then click on that button, which should then turn this light on. So that's what should go and happen. Let's go and test and see if that works. So I'm spawning it in, there it is. Now you can definitely tell this is working. I'm gonna press this button, which is connected there. Definitely is working. So now the button that's connected to the effector, no, it's not working. Maybe it's too close. Maybe that's too close. Maybe also the devs should add some type of animation. It seems like the animations are either missing or they haven't done them. Uh, let's just move this button one backwards and see if it works. So give it a little bit of room here, as you can see, a little bit of room for it to push forwards. And let's see if that works. So we're once again connect electricity, connect the buttons. Once again, we can test to see if it's working by simply going over here, 
Yes, it does work. Press this. And there we go. So you can see that does interact. Being one block away, it does interact with it. Ooh, okay. So that is working. Now, of course, you probably won't be in this exact situation because you probably won't have two vehicles touching each other. I mean, there's no reason why you should be using this to press another button. You should just use this. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be one or two very minute new cases for that but normally you would have another vehicle that you're interacting with so the distance between it probably won't be an issue uh, and as far as I know it interacts with anything in front of it as you can see right here once again no animations I would love to see animation maybe pushing this out or maybe for this to be receded and then for it to push out when you press the button uh, but maybe that's going to come in another update who knows and that's pretty much about it for this week's uh, minor update there has been another feature which is the solid rocket booster uh, the nozzle has got now got a max slider uh, for power pretty straightforward and a bunch of bug fixes I mean there's fixes for damage collision there's sonar fixes there's jammer fixes there's c4 fixes there's all kinds of different fixes and yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'd um, love to see what you guys are going to do with these new components. Let me know in Discord. But yeah, anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the update. Uh, what you, Which component you'd like the best. And if you had a choice, what other components would you add to Stormworks? Love to hear you guys' opinion. And as always, if you have enjoyed my video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. As always, uh, if you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you click that little bell icon be notified as soon as I release videos. And until next week, we will see you then.